Hey everybody, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. Today, as you can see, we're going to take a look at a song called Tomorrow by Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Zach Wilde on guitar. And uh, this was a supported request by Valentin. So big thanks goes out to him for supporting me and requesting this cool song. Um, the uh, tabs for download are going to be available at GuitarForce.com for a really low price. Also, I'm going to post uh, a backing track to this song, uh, which is going to be totally free. So if you are interested, go ahead and check it out. Um, if you would like to support this channel, all of the links are going to be in the description box down below and I appreciate each and every one who has done so far. Um, as far as the sound, again I was using the uh, VST plugin guitar rig with two different presets for the uh, clean guitar and distorted guitar and uh, I'm going to post the uh, pictures of both presets uh, on the screen in just a moment. Uh, the uh, song is going to be in E flat tuning, so we have to tune down all the strings half a step down. All right, and uh, while you're checking out the pictures of the presets, uh, I'm going to play you my low E string for your tuning reference. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's take a listen to the first part, to the intro uh, of this song, then we're going to come back close up and start the lesson. Let's check it out. So the intro part of the song is played on the clean guitar. It's actually not um, clean, it has some um, effects on it and uh, I suppose that Zach is using his Roto Vibe uh, pedal by Dunlop uh, which is emulating like a um, Univibe kind of thing. So you want to get like a chorus and a flanger may maybe, that's what I got on uh, my preset. So the first part of uh, the intro goes like this. So here we start off with the slide on the A string from 3rd fret to the 5th and back to the 3rd and then play 1st fret on the A string. Then we go to the low E, 3rd fret and now here we're going to be alternating the 1st fret on the A with the 3rd fret on the low E and the pattern goes like this. So we make the slide, go to the 1st fret, then go to the low E, 3rd fret. Here we play an 8th note first and then it's followed by 1st fret of A string. Then we play 2 times 3rd fret 16th notes. And we basically play these for 3 times, okay? So the 1st fret, A, 2 times on the low E, 3rd fret, 3 times. Then we get back to the first fret of the A string again, and then we start off uh, the riff all over again. So again, back to the slide. So slowly it will go like this. Okay, so we play this for two times, and then we go into the F note. So after the slide we have slide 3rd to 5th, back to the 3rd, pull off to the 1st one, and then instead of going to the 3rd fret on the low E, we go uh, to the 1st fret on the low E, so the, the uh, F note. Now here the pattern goes like this. So as we get to the 1st fret on the low E, again it's an 8th note, then we're going to be playing 3rd frets on the A, followed by two uh, 16th notes on the low E 1st fret. Now the next note is going to be a D note, so you can play either open D, but I prefer uh, playing the 5th fret here on the A string because um, when you hold it like this sometimes you can, you know, get um, uh, down, um, you know, silence the uh, D string by the side of your finger. So. Uh, so the note is ringing out, I play it on the 5th fret here, uh, on the A string. So after the 5th fret, on, on, 
After the D note, we get back again to the first fret on the low E, playing it two times again. Then we play third fret on the A, then first fret on the low E, and then the next note is going to be G string open and you let it ring out. And if you want to, you can play again the uh, low E string first fret before going uh, for the slide. Or you can just uh, let ring out the G string for the eighth note and then go into the uh, slide again. So slowly again, this second part goes like this all together. Okay, so now I'm going to play these two sections together, um, uh, back to back, slowly, so it goes like this. So that's basically uh, the uh, riff for the intro part and also we're going to be playing it after the first verse and chorus. Now um, there is also a uh, clean guitar or this guitar uh, with the effects which is uh, there is another section where we play uh, just a few notes before the solo and uh, it goes like this. <laughs> Alright, so this part we played, like I said before, the solo, and it's basically just three notes. So we play third fret on the low E, then first on A, and third fret on the D, and you let it ring out. So we play this the first time, and then the second time, instead of third fret on the D string, we simply change it to the second fret on the, on the D string, and again we have... All right, and we alternate between these two parts. Okay, so that's uh, another part, um, another section of the song, like I said, where we play before the solo. So this is it for the clean guitar. Uh, now let's take a listen to uh, the uh, heavy guitar, uh, the uh, distorted, the first part, then we're going to come back and break it down. So this heavy guitar part, we're also going to break it down into little parts, and the first one goes like this. Alright, so here we start off with the low E string on the third fret, G note, and you can either play a single note or a power chord if you want to. And then we go to the G string, we're playing 3rd fret to the 2nd. Then sliding on the D string into the 5th fret. And then we have... So it's from the 3rd fret to the 5th, picking it one more time and then play open string. One more time, the whole thing. Then we go to the 1st um, fret on the A string, the B flat note. And again, you can play single note or the power chord. And then we have on the G string, same thing, third to the second fret, and then we have so it's a slide on the D string into the fifth fret, 
right? Then we'll play a third fret to the fifth two times. And then playing the third fret on the D string. Then we have. So it's an F note on the first fret of the low E. Again, you can play single notes or power chord on the G, third to the second. Uh, and then we have. So it's a third fret on the A string. And then we play two double stops. The first one is going to be on the A and the D strings, third, third fret. And then we simply shift uh, from uh, third fret on the D to the second fret of the D. Okay, so one more time. And then we have again third frets on the low E or a power chord. Then we play third to the second on G. Then we have a quick open G string, kind of passing note. And then we play this part with using the power chord. So we play two times the G power chord to F, back to G. And then we play uh, B flat power chord. So these are palm muted. Okay, so basically these are the, the four elements of this first part. So I'm going to play it one more time, uh, all of the parts together, slowly. <laughs> Then after that, we basically repeat the whole thing again from the beginning, uh, with the exception of the ending where, uh, when we go to the G note and playing after the third to the second fret on the G, instead of playing this part, we simply uh, slide into the uh, fifth fret on the D note, right? And then we have we go into the next part of this heavy guitar part, which starts off with with these pick scrapes and slides, and then we'll go into this part. Okay, so this is the first part. So we start off with the uh, B flat power chord. And then in, by the end of the bar, we have this pinch harmonic, which is on uh, the uh, fifth frets of the G string. And then we play the G power chord. And then the first time we play. So uh, we play after the G power chord, we play fifth frets on the D string with pinch harmonic again. And then we play. Sorry, so it's. So after this fifth fret on the D string, we would, would then go third fret on the D, uh, palm muted, and then we we'll go to the A string playing five four, and then we we'll go third fret first, third first. Uh, but these uh, notes where we play third fret to the first, third to the first, we add again the pinch harmonics. Okay, so all together it's. Like that. So one more time from the beginning. Then we repeat again. So as you can see, it's exactly the same. So we play the B flat power chord again followed by the pinch harmonic on the fifth fret of the G string. Then again the uh, G power chord. And now here instead of playing we play two unison bends here. So the first one is going to be sixth fret on the B string and we bend G string on the eighth fret and we play two times. And then we simply shift up uh, two frets, so now on the B string we have eight frets and bending ten frets. Like that. Alright, so one more time. Then after that, we have next part. So let me play this second part uh, both 
of uh, these elements together, so it goes like this. Then the next part goes like this. Alright, so this is again first part. It starts off with the F power chord on the eighth position here. Then we go into C sharp, uh, first inversion. So we have on the fifth fret these three strings and then adding the E notes with the ring finger. Then after that we simply move down one fret on the A string, so going to the uh, sixth fret and still keeping this chord like this. So we have this dissonant chord and then we play the G power chord. So, so far we got this. Then again we have either a slide and we play this. So it's a F power chord two times. And then we have a double stop which is um, uh, on the fifth fret of the B and the G strings. And we bend it up, bring it down and then pull off to the third fret. And then it's followed by a C power chord. Also palm muted. And then uh, after the C power chord we have uh, the uh, sixth fret on the B string. Then we play third fret on the D and the G strings. And here you can either play to the open strings or you can play to the G power chord. Okay, but uh, you know essentially these are the same notes. So whatever feels comfortable to you, use that. I kind of use you know going from the third to the open strings. Easy like, easier like that. So after that we have uh, again this part, but it's um, uh, preceded with the uh, these octaves uh, where we go um, on the A and uh, the G strings. So we have 13 frets on the A, 15 on the G. Then we move down. <coughs> excuse me. Then we move down one fret to the uh, 12 and 14. Down two more frets, so to the tenth position, 10 and 12. And then again we have. So again we're repeating the same thing. Uh, the F power chord going to the double stop on the fifth fret. Pull it, uh, bending it up, bring it down, pull off to the third fret, and then followed by the uh, C power chord again. And doing the same thing, so bending up the uh, sixth fret on the B string, bring it down, and then play the uh, double stop again from the third fret to the open. So if I play this last part uh, of uh, this riff, all together goes like this. So one more thing to add, uh, just keep in mind that when you play this heavy guitar part the last time, in the end of the song, uh, there is a slight change in, um, in the structure. So once you play the whole thing once, right, and you get to, to the octaves, instead of going to the F power chord and playing this part, right, after the octaves you go into the F power chords. You, so you play. So you kind of get back to the middle part of this riff, uh, of this section, right? And you play again from the F power chord, going through the whole thing. So again, the to C, um, uh, C first inversion, to this chord, to G, and then you play. 
again back to the um, octaves and then in the end after this part you go right into the F power chord and play this section right so after the F you go to the C and then you have this last bend and that's how you finish the song all right so now we have one more section to cover which is the solo so let's first take a listen to the whole solo then we're gonna come back and break it down So in order to play this solo, you're going to need the uh, tremolo arm or um, the whammy bar. And also, at times, um, Zach is using the uh, wah pedal. So we're going to start uh, this solo uh, by breaking down uh, phrase by phrase. So the first phrase goes like this. So here we're going to be using uh, the uh, G minor pentatonic start starting from the fifth position. So we have on the low E, 1st to 3rd frets. Then we go to the A string, playing 1, 3, sliding up to the 5th fret. Then we play 3, 5, 3 on uh, the uh, D string. Then we have this. So it's uh, 6 frets on the B string. And then we go to the G string, 5th fret, bending up. Uh, and it's a gradual release. Adding some vibrato as well while you bend up the string. So all together we have this. Then we have again one more time bend. Bring it down, pull off to the third fret and then again playing six frets on the B and going again into the bend on the fifth fret of the G string. So all together we have this. Then after that we have... So it's again another bend, bring down, pull off to the third fret, and then uh, fret the fifth fret. Add some vibrato and then we have... So it's a hammer-on pull-off, third fret to the fifth, pull off to third and slide down to the second fret. And then after that we have 2-3-2 two, two on the same string on the G and then 3rd fret slides up to the 5th on the D string. So, uh, so far we got this. open low E string and gradual bend on the first fret of the low E string. Like that, right? Then we go um, up to the um, 15th position here, so we're going to be using this position of the G minor uh, pentatonic and uh, the first phrase goes like this. So again, we have um, notes on the B string, which is on the 18th fret. And then we play the bend going into the uh, bend right away on the G string, 17th fret. 
then we play 15 on G to 17 on the D string. Okay, one more time. Then we repeat. So we have again 18 on uh, B, bend up on the G string 17 fret, 15 on the G, and then instead of going to the D string, we're going to be playing another bend on the B string 18 fret. All right. So so far we got these both elements. Then one more time. So after the um, B string 18 frets, again we have bend on the G string 17, and then we have slide from 15 to 17 back to 15. So all together these three parts go like this. And then after that we go right into the uh, first dive bomb which is uh, we play the low E string open and we press on the whammy bar okay then after that we have it's just uh, going for an effect uh, so I'm bending the um, first two strings so I'm bending the first string and also catching the second string so you get this sound and while you are bending it up, these two strings, you can add the tremolo picking. So the uh, fret is going to be um, 20th fret, okay? Then we have this lick, which is... So here we have on uh, the high E string, it's uh, 18. So 18, hammer on to 19, pull off to 18, pull off to 16, and then hammer on onto the 18th fret. First part. And then we have... So this is a little bit weird, but that's what it sounds like on the recording. So the first time we have... And then we repeat it again. As you get to the 18th fret on the high E, you then go to 15 on high E and uh, play a unison bend, uh, which is um, on the B string we have, um, what is it, uh, 18 frets bending up the string while uh, fretting the, uh, fret the high E string on the 15th fret. Alright, so all together we have this. Then after that we go into this uh, quick lick which goes repetitive so it's basically just playing hammer-ons pull-offs on the B string um, 11 to I'm sorry 8 to 11 hammer-on pull-off and then alternating these hammer-on pull-off with uh, the uh, 10 frets on the G string And then in the end, you have a bend on uh, the B string 11th fret. And we repeat this for two times. And also, here we're going to be using the, the wah pedal. After that, the next part goes like this. So here we have a gradual bend on the G string, 7th uh, fret, and gradual release, and then we go, so we go down to the 5th fret on the G string, and we have bend up, bring it down, pull off to the 3rd fret, and then play 5 on D. And then go back up, so you play 3rd fret to the 5th, and bend up the string. Then we have another uh, dive bomb on the low E string, and then we get back to this lick again. Now here we play this first time, first bar like that, and then the second bar when we play it, we have two bends in the end, so it's going to be, um, you know, half of, of uh, the lick. So we have the first time, and then second time. 
So you cut it in half, right? The, the fast slick hammer-ons pull-offs, and then you play the bend two times, okay? And then after that, we go into into unison bends, which start the first one uh, on the B string, we have third fret, and bending the fifth fret of, of the G string. All right. Now, because of this floating tremolo, it's you know sometimes harder to get this um, the unison bend correct. Anyway, so on the third fret, B five on the G string, then we move up um, to the uh, sixth fret on the B and bend in the eighth fret, and then we go down to the first position. All right, so we have this. And then right after this, we have uh, again a dive bomb on the low E string. And then we repeat again. But this time, we start with the third position, move into the six, and then two more frets up. So eight on B and bending the 10th uh, frets of the G string. And then the last uh, lick is going to be like this. All right, so here we have trills. You can do this a couple of ways. Uh, I'm doing it with the pick. So I'm fretting, I'm, uh, hum, I'm sorry, I'm tapping the 11th fret on the G string while holding the 7th fret on the G, all right, with the finger. You can do it with the finger, but it's just faster if I do it with the pick. Like that. And then we move down one fret, the whole thing. So. Uh, six with the finger and uh, ten with the pick. Then one more fret down to the uh, five and nine. And then we skip two frets. So we go to the third on the G and uh, seven on uh, with the pick. And then we have just open a G string with the slide dive bone. All right, so again. All right, so here is the whole solo, all of the licks together, kind of slower, back to back, goes like this. guys so that was it for this lesson i hope you found it useful and liked it if you did like it please hit the thumbs up button also comment share subscribe if you're new to my channel don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons in the meantime i'll see you again take it easy and as always let the forest be with you